Breaking tonight, this rocket and the astronauts who are going to be on board are staying on the ground, at least for another day. Tonight's Crew 8 mission to the space station from the Space Coast has been delayed again. Good evening to you, I'm Eric Von Aiken. Glad you're with us on this Saturday night. SpaceX says they had to scrub because of high winds, so they're going to try again tomorrow night. This is now the second delay this week. And we know folks are disappointed. News 6's Brian Didlake has been with them all night long at Space View Park in Titusville. Brian. Right as Space View Park was starting to fill up with people, some just now breaking out their lawn chairs, the launch got scrubbed. Understandably, many people that we spoke to say that they were disappointed, but with this now being the second time this launch has been canceled, they told me they don't think they'll make it out for a third time. We had a feeling this might happen, but so now we're going to turn around and go back home. So I'm so sorry that y'all came know, all this way. I know, but there's only so much time you can spend here. Judy Ball and her husband Rick drove three hours from St. Petersburg to see the Crew 8 mission launch. The New Hampshire couple say they were here days before for Thursday's launch when the Falcon 9 rocket was delayed from liftoff then. Halfway here, we realized that hit that had been scrubbed. So we didn't realize that it had been rescheduled for Saturday. We thought it was for Friday. So oh, <laughs> we've been spending no. time here yeah. and waiting. Late Saturday afternoon, NASA and SpaceX sent this post saying the launch was postponed to the next day on Sunday due to unfavorable conditions in the flight path. The three astronauts and a Russian cosmonaut are a part of the crew set for liftoff. The group will be traveling to the International Space Station. Once there, the crew will spend the next six months conducting hundreds of studies focusing on motion sickness and human movements in microgravity. Because there are so many moving parts and all of the work that they do to make sure that our science gets done so that we get the answer that we need. But for space enthusiasts, Saturday's scrub hurt. Oh, I was so yeah. we were so upset because this is on our bucket list to see the launch for others. Even without being able to witness the launch, seeing the rocket reminded them of their love for all things space. You know, I'm uh, 64 years old mm -hmm. and I remember the, the moon landing, right? Or the mm -hmm. first walk on the moon. Mm -hmm. And at that time it was well, it still is fantastic. We had coins with different Apollo missions oh, on wow. them. We collected, you know, like for kids and uh, so it is special. Now we will be out here again Sunday to see if that third attempt at liftoff will stick. We're at Space View Park. Brian Ditlake getting results. News 6.